Les familles ont des archives chez eux. Ils ont des photos, ils ont des choses qu'ils gardent, comme ça, à pouvoir. Et puis le cinéma fait pareil. Quand les cinémathèques dans le monde entier ont été créées dans les années 30, elles ont été créées pour lutter contre la destruction d'un art qui avait atteint son point de perfection en 20 ans, qui était le cinéma muet et qu'on mettait à la poubelle. Film was not treated as art and film was not treated as a historical source. Four major national archives came together. They had to explain what they were doing. They had to explain to the studios that they were not a threat. They had to explain to their government funders and to the public that cinema was an art. People working in this field consider themselves to be uh, backstage people. So not many people know what we are doing. <laughs> In a way, I look at this as an archaeology center. We're trying to rescue films that are lost or unknown before they ultimately disappear forever. As these things get stored and labeled and numbered and put into an archive, these become quite literally our memories. The entire worldwide industry is making a major mistake to thinking the digital means permanent. Completely wrong. Right now, a 35 film copy is still the best way to preserve it. We can hold that mirror up to nature and say, look, think about the world you live in and why it is the way it is and what you can do to change it.